A retired U.S. Army general now living in Transylvania County was at ground zero hours after the attacks on 9-11. Photojournalist Ken Korn finds out what one general remembers about arriving in a city changed by terrorism. This is at the World Trade Center. There has been some sort of explosion. September 11, 2001. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That looks like a second plane. It's a benchmark event. That just exploded. We I just saw another plane. A day that marks the deadliest terrorist attack in human history. That it's altered our way of life. General Joseph Toluto was the deputy commander of the New York National Guard. The governor of New York sent Toluto and his troops to protect the city from a second attack. Could there be secondary attacks? Could chemicals be introduced? while we were vulnerable. General Toluto deployed his troops across the city to guard bridges and tunnels. He also set up a perimeter around Manhattan to check everyone coming into what he called a massive crime scene. There wasn't a vehicle that came into Manhattan that wasn't opened and looked at for weeks. General Toluto wasn't the only member of his family called to serve that day. My son is this center, center one here. He's, he's a sergeant there. His son, also a member of the Guard, arrived only 10 hours after the attack. These boys uh, got in there early and had some pretty grim duty having to get, on, uh, get in buildings and look for possible survivors, but they ended up really looking for picking up human remains. General Toluto remembers when he stepped out of his car in a city changed forever. I don't know that I'll ever forget the, the actual smell the burning jet fuel combined with the burning of construction debris. General Toluto said the motto for his guard division became, never forget. These are tough images to see, especially in your own country uh, with your own people. We're at Ground Zero, I did pick up a piece of glass. and An unforgettable event that changed the course kind of, of American history. Quick. We're 19 years later and we still got troops in Afghanistan. Zero. Remembering 9-11, Ken Korn, News 13.